My name is uh, Cédric Gobey and I'm curator here at Museo Egizio since uh, 2019. I uh, was born in Canada and I'm also uh, French by citizenship. And uh, before coming here at Museo Egizio, I used to work uh, at the French Institute of Archaeology in Cairo for uh, over 10 years. And after that, I became the director of the Egypt Exploration Society in London for three years. And uh, then since 2019, I have the joy and immense pleasure of uh, being here in this uh, wonderful museum. So since a very young age, I have always been a very big fan of ancient Egypt. And my very wish was to become an Egyptologist uh, and or an archeologist. So I pursued my career, uh, I would say well, my studies first, obviously. And then uh, later on, I had the immense chance uh, after having done a PhD in Paris to uh, follow my, my dream and to become an Egyptologist. And one thing leading to another, uh, I landed here at Museo Egizio in Turin. But this is for my immense joy, because actually the fact that every day, as you see here around me, I am surrounded by ancient Egypt. So every day when I walk, when I travel here inside the museum, I am surrounded by ancient Egypt. So I really feel like home here. So this is why I I have absolutely a great honor of being here a curator at the Museo Egizio. So anyone wishing or wanting to become an Egyptologist or an archaeologist or also museum curator in such an archaeological museum like Museo Egizio, uh, my advice to, to them would be, well, first of all, to, to study very hard. Uh, it takes a, a very long time, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, then you will have the chance to have the critical spirit that goes with everything to acquire a lot of knowledge that also goes uh, along with this uh, field and domain that is required to really be a, a good uh, curator and Egyptologist. But then uh, my, I would say the, the bonus, the, in addition, the added value of such uh, um, an academic uh, path would be to develop or having one skills, uh, technical skills that is required and very useful to this domain. For instance, uh, either being a photographer, either being a, a draftsman or draftswoman, so having the, the, the capacity to draw. Also, uh, I would say nowadays, thanks to new technologies, we are more and more requiring to use these new technologies. So if you would be, for instance, a specialist of photogrammetry, that would be particularly appreciated. And therefore, all these added values and skills would be key in, uh, for you to become an Egyptologist and get that uh, very rare position. So, uh, a lot of people are asking me, actually, if I was not a curator, what uh, should I do uh, or could I do? Well, actually, uh, thinking back, uh, just before entering inside the career of uh, Egyptologist and archaeologist, I really wanted to be a, a medical doctor. And uh, the problem with this, well, as my case, was that uh, I was not feeling well when I was hearing uh, people suffering and the descriptions uh, of their uh, pain. So actually, uh, I would say, what could I do? Well, that I wouldn't be able to do that anymore. And uh, so I have absolutely no idea of uh, what I could be. So this is why I find myself particularly lucky to do what I really want to do. The first time, if I remember very well, that I've been uh, acquired the chance, given the chance, uh, to go on an excavation, I will forever remember it. Because actually, after having passed that many years, more than 10 years of studying inside you know, a library, inside a university, now that you're given the chance to be on the field surrounded by antiquities in situ, this is absolutely amazing. The feeling you have to be you know, under the sun, surrounded by the Egyptians, working with you, your colleagues. This is absolutely fantastic. The feeling of having also the capacity as an archeologist to make discoveries and to find new things, new data that you will then be able to study. This feeling of the potential 
uh, that is there, you know, really uh, under your hands is absolutely fantastic. And for that, uh, you always remember it. So I've decided to choose objects for this exhibition that are shedding light on very rare practices attested in ancient Egypt, for ancient Egypt. These are the votive seats, so they are all made of stones, and they were located inside votive chapels on the site of their own Medina. And they are the central part of uh, these chapels and these, uh, what we would say, votive practices. But the thing is, in order to understand fully uh, the meaning, the true meaning of these uh, objects, I would say that I also added some other objects to uh, bring context to uh, what was the use of these uh, seats. So the, the objects that I've selected uh, the story they say and they tell is a story of workmen that used to live under the reign of the great pharaohs that are Tutankhamun or Ramses II, just to mention these two. And they tell a story of how they felt uh, in contact and in communication with their gods and uh, divinities under which they were working in both valleys of the king uh, and queens. And as such, it tells a very intimate and personal stories. And they are all very small objects, again, just to show you how they were living on a daily basis. So we are really in touch with uh, these people that are, I would say, as human as we are nowadays. If someone wanted to ask me, why should I come and visit your exhibition? Well, I would say actually, all the objects that I've managed to gather inside this very exhibition uh, are there to really inform you about a very, I would say, individual and very rare practice attested in ancient Egypt, uh, those of related to, you know, votive and personal piety and personal devotion. So as such, this is something you don't see or rarely see in other museums around the world, because here at Museo Egizio, we have the chance of having uh, all these fantastic objects that are all shedding light on this very practice that are very intimate. So I would say, please come and have a look by yourself and you will be absolutely amazed and you will see how close you are from these ancient Egyptians. <laughs>